guys, welcome to This Budget Life, and I'm doing another collab video. Today, we're working on the collab called My Dave Ramsey Story. It's been going around for about four months, and there are a lot of YouTubers that have done it, and I will try to link everybody I can find in the description box, and I may even create a playlist so that you could just sit down and enjoy all the encouragement from the YouTube budget community. But for my story, I've written down the 13 questions, and I'm gonna try to get through them as quickly as I can to hopefully give you some a little bit more background than maybe you might have gotten in my previous videos. So the first question is, how long have you been doing Dave Ramsey? We started doing Dave Ramsey in August of 2015. So as of this month, it makes almost exactly 10 months. Question number two, what baby step are you currently on? We are on baby step two. We are working on our debt snowball, uh, slowly but surely making progress. And that's kind of where most of the budget community is. Unless they've been doing this for a couple of years and they're already in baby step three or four, five, and six, which is really exciting. Most of us are here to encourage everybody else who is also on baby step two. Number three, what was your total personal debt? This one's a little different than some people's. We do not include vehicles in our personal debt because they are considered um, business assets for our self-employment. Uh, with our shop that we have so everything consumer debt and hospital debt everything added up um, when we started was 20 around twenty eight thousand dollars I don't have it down to the penny because honestly when we started it was just for ourselves I wasn't thinking of telling anyone or YouTube videos or anything so I didn't have it down to the penny but it was right around twenty eight thousand dollars number four what is your total debt now um, we have paid down almost $10,000, um, but we recently had a hospital bill expense, so it's actually with that, all of it added together, we're right at around $20,000 now. So we've paid off some, and we got a little with a hospital bill. So um, we are at uh, 20,000 right now, and it's very exciting to kind of see the projections as that gets paid down, how fast that'll happen. Which rolls into question number five. When do you expect your current debt to be paid off? <sighs> This is tricky. Um, we have been trying to speed up our debt snowball with everything that we can, and it may go faster than we think, but as of right now, I'm hoping by the middle of next year or the end of next year. It just depends how many times Murphy comes stalking, you know? Number six, do you plan on doing a debt-free scream on Dave Ramsey? Heck yeah! After all this work and listening to, do you know there are like 702 debt free screen videos on Dave Ramsey's YouTube site? My favorite playlist ever. And I cry and I sob. Heck yeah, we are going to Tennessee and we are doing a debt free screen. My husband actually went down there when we first got started, when we were about two months in, uh, down to the headquarters to watch the radio station being filmed. And he got to meet Dave Ramsey and he actually called me and said, Guess who wants to talk to you? And I'm like, I don't know and he goes Dave Ramsey and I was all like ah! you know flappy hands fan girl the whole thing and I was like crying and I was like oh you help me so much you know, just help everybody, you know? and he was very kind and gracious and he was like well when you guys get through with your debt snowball you'll have to come down and do a debt free screen so yes we will definitely do that and hopefully it'll show up on his YouTube channel and we'll take pictures and all of that but that's gonna be a huge thing we do when we get debt free. Number seven, did you take Financial Peace University either in person or at home, read Total Money Makeover, or did you learn about Dave online? Well, if you watch um, any of my previous videos, you know that I already knew about Dave Ramsey before we ever started budgeting, um, but just kind of nebulously knew about him that he was just this financial guy, and he talked about boring, dry financial things, and I didn't have to worry about them because I just never thought we made enough money to worry about financial things. Like, I can't even go there. Um, we did take FPU, we did the home version, because when we started in August, nobody was offering it in our area. We would like to take one with other people just for the encouragement, um, but the one that's offered regularly around us doesn't start till January, so maybe next year we'll be able to do that. We have also read the Total Money Makeover. I say read, um, we have it in audiobook, which we're both very busy with five children and running our own business. So if we have time, we're usually got our earbuds plugged in on the iPhone and we're listening. Um, 
Did learn about Dave online. Okay, so I got all those answers. Eight, did you budget before Dave Ramsey, zero based or not? No, no, and no. Nine, have you tried the Every Dollar app? If yes, what are your thoughts? Well, no, I haven't tried it, but I'm still gonna share my thoughts because it's my YouTube channel. Um, we used a cash envelope system and a notebook, and I had a file on the computer where I wrote out our budget, um, such as it was when we first started. And once we got used to the cash envelope system, we ran into a few snags because honestly it was hard if I had the grocery budget envelope and James needed to pick up some groceries at Walmart, you know, he was either using cash that was in his wallet from tips from customers at the store or he was swiping his debit card and we didn't keep anything, almost anything in the bank account to start with. Everything was cash envelopes. So it got to be a little bit of a hassle after a while. So we switched to envelopes which is an electronic budgeting tool that works on the envelope system that hooks to your bank account. You can set up a budget, you can fund your envelopes just like you do with cash, and you use your debit card and the electronic transactions come through and you just pop them into the envelope that you funded and your little balance will go down or up if you're putting in a deposit. So it works basically the same way, but it's accessible to both of us, which makes life a lot easier. And having all my little envelopes is really exciting. Um, it is free to use envelopes if you're using 25 or less envelopes you can use the whole thing for free so if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of categories or sinking funds yet that may be a perfect way to go we tried out the um, the $99 version which gives you unlimited groupings and envelopes to use because I love the detail I love to have lots of envelopes um, if you decide that you love it and you just want to go ahead and sign up for the rest of your life, they do have a $299 lifetime fee and that is probably what we're going to do once we have used up our first year. It is working excellently well for us. It has some features that every dollar doesn't and um, that's just what we're going to go with. It's what works for us. Now some people really like to stick with cash envelopes or at least partial cash envelopes no matter what and that's fine it's whatever works for you I know every dollar is working for a lot of people we just haven't used it we find envelopes to work better for us but I'll put a link to the website down there and you can check that out and see if it's something that you like like I said it's free for up to 25 envelopes and anything about that you do have to pay a service for but we are really enjoying it we have it set up for our home and we also recently set it up to uh, work with our business Number 10, do you consider yourself the nerd or the free spirit in the relationship? Um, <laughs> I am, Dave Ramsey, has, if you don't understand this question, there are categories that Dave Ramsey has. He has the nerd who handles the budget and the finances and likes the details. The free spirit who just, it stresses them out, they can't handle it. Their budget meetings need to be like five minutes long. And then you have two other characteristics that you can have. One is the spender and the saver, and those are pretty self-explanatory. I am the nerd spender. I like to buy things. Um, of course, minimalism has curbed a lot of that, and I'm more selective about what I do buy. But I do enjoy buying things and uh, planning ahead for purchases or gifts or whatever it may be. But I'm also the nerd in the relationship. James just doesn't like handling numbers, crunching things, planning out budgets, it's stressful for him. And he's not a details person like many guys. So he is our free spirit saver and I am the nerd spender. Let's see what else I've got on here. Are you a hardcore Dave Ramsey follower or have you tweaked anything? If so, how and why? We are pretty hardcore, mainly because I feel like just winging it and coming up with our own ideas never worked for us obviously or we wouldn't be in the position that we're in and this has been proven you know i don't know how many millions of people have taken fpu at this point but this has been proven over and over again to really work so we're pretty well sticking with it um the only difference being as if we have to dip into our emergency fund which we have had to do um since we're already on baby step two, we don't pause that to build the emergency fund back up again. We just work that into the budget just continually because I don't want to keep changing payments on credit cards. So we just leave it the way it is and anything extra goes into refunding the baby uh, emergency fund of $1,000. 
Let's see. Question 12. Have you tried any of Dave Ramsey's endorsed local providers or ELPs? If yes, please give your feedback. Um, I looked into them and when we first had our emergency fund uh, of a thousand dollars we actually looked into one to see if maybe we should stick it somewhere to invest or you know I don't know we were just we were so new we were like clicking all the buttons and trying all the things on Dave Ramsey's website and he was really really nice and came down but the amount was so small that he said not to worry about investing it or anything at this point but I know in the future we definitely will look into that for real estate for taxes um, if we ever do another mortgage we'll probably go with um, uh, one of his ELPs for that as well all right, the last question is 13. From your experience, does this plan work? Obviously, yes. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel if I didn't think it worked. It's working better than anything we ever came up with on our own worked. So um, I've been very happy with it. I'm encouraged by it. It's not been an easy road. It won't be an easy road going forward, but there is finally a plan and there is finally light at the end of the tunnel. So that is our Dave Ramsey story for the collab series. Like I said, I'll either create a playlist or at least link a couple of them because there are a lot below in the description box for you to check out. Let me know. What are your thoughts on Dave Ramsey? Have you started? Are you using a different budget plan? And you know, what questions do you have for me? I'd love to do another Q and A. I say another one. I have planned on doing one with James, but he's more of a behind the camera kind of guy. So at least for now, who knows, maybe we'll be able to talk him into making a cameo appearance somewhere. So anyway, thanks for seeing me today and spending some YouTube time here. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can keep doing more videos and I will talk to you later.